<laughs> I wasn't ready yet. <laughs> <Who counted that? laughs> All right, so on a serious I'm note, cheeky now. Yeah, you're being really cheeky. <laughs> Not even waiting for the countdown. It's just going straight for the attack. You're trying to catch me out, Surprise. right? Surprise! George has got his own fan club now. <laughs> right? I keep seeing it on the comments. People say, "Yeah, we love George." That's for my love. Get him. <laughs> 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 All right, so I wanted to talk about space today and self-defense. Now, space is a very simple idea. Now, I literally mean space, not outer space. <laughs> what I mean is physical space. The best way to think about physical space, and another way a lot of people think about it, is distance, is the actual physical space. That doesn't make any sense what I just said. Let's start again, right? The best way to think about defending yourself is the space that you create between your bodies. And what essentially you're trying to do is occupy that space by putting something in the way. So the headbutt example would have been a good example if I wasn't... <laughs> <laughs> but I wasn't a hijack there. Sorry. <laughs> but the point is, let me give you a classic example. So if George throws a punch, throw a straight punch for me. And I know it, yeah, everyone's gonna say, yeah, but you know the punch, it doesn't matter. It's just an example. If a straight punch comes in and I hit forward, this is a classic example in, in, in Wing, Chun, Wing Chun strategy. I hit forward, bang, and I put my arm in the way. What am I doing? Well, what I'm actually doing is occupying space. So this is distance between here and here. And what I've done is I've put my limb in that. So I put my arm in that space. So essentially, when you're trying to punch, something's in the way, my arm. So when I talk about occupying space, what I'm talking about is putting something in the way to defend yourself. So it's much more of a proactive way of defending yourself. It's much more offensive rather than defensive. And I, I really believe that if you're going to defend yourself, you can't do it from a defensive mindset. Any martial art that has a defensive mindset where you're actually trying to block punches and cover up and block and be defensive, is going to put you in a bad air. What you want to be able to do is be offensive, go on the attack. Best way to go on the attack is to have a little bit of preemptive thinking. And preemptive thinking basically is this idea where, as I was saying, is you put something in place. You put your hands in the space and you make sure you occupy it. But you have to be aware of where the spaces of, of your vulnerability are. So the vulnerability would be in this sense that if I put my arm up like this, someone throws a punch, this is the space where they're throwing the punch. They're coming in, maybe come up with an uppercut, George, because it'll be more bang. So that's a vulnerability, that is a space. Another situation might occur where I throw my arm, bang, out here, and I create such a big area, a big space again, that from here, the person can rechange the combination and come through. So if you think about the nature of self-defense, the nature is that you're defending space by being as compact as possible. That's why one of the reasons I like Wing Chun as a martial art. I like it as a martial art and as a, not just because of the, the style, but because of the compact nature of it. One thing it teaches you to do is to keep your elbows in and to be much more compact and resolute when you're defending yourself. We don't have big open spaces, but it's not just the body spaces we're talking about in terms of your defense, okay? It's also the distance space, if you like. So sometimes people say, yeah, but I'll never allow someone to be too close, too far. That's absolutely fine. But there's only two distances you can have in a fight. What are they? You can either be in or out, right? Yeah. That's the only thing you can do in a, in a street fight. If someone's attacking you, in is this, I'm close, right? Out is going to be, and it's difficult for this because obviously we're in a tight space, but this is out. Now, let's be honest, how realistic is out in a real street fight? Well, that's up for debate. Everyone has a different opinion on it. My idea is that if I'm in a confrontation, a confrontation leads to a fight. Confrontation is an argument. An argument generally tends to be quite close. Yeah. You don't argue from a distance. As a, as a, as a as human being, yeah. you generally don't do that, right? It's no. simple logic. So you've either got to be in or out, but as I've said in many videos before, not in the middle. Because if you're in the middle, we call no man's land, it, anything can happen. Now, sometimes people say, yeah, but if you're really close, you're gonna get stabbed, this is gonna happen, they're gonna draw a weapon. We covered that in weapon draws anyway. The best way is either be away from a weapon or you get in and you're trying to smother it. Now, obviously getting in and smothering is a dangerous thing to yeah. do. You could <clears throat> lose your life. But if you're at a distance, you can run, but if they've got a firearm, then you're not gonna run very far. 
fact. Yeah. If they've got a weapon, like a knife, they're going to chase you. Either way, what you're looking at doing is controlling the space between us. So every time I move, I'm aware of where my space is. See, again, I've reacted to the space. If he comes through up from underneath, boom, I'm reacting to the space. If he goes to this side of me, I don't know, actually spin this way, because this, the space is there, bang. Can you see? What I'm always aware of when I'm moving, bang, is covering the space. But if you notice, every time I move, I keep my limbs quite close to my body because I don't want to open too much space between my body and him. So, when you're thinking of self-defense, the best way to think of is the spaces that your arms create by the natural process of putting your arms forward, how much space does it create, or the distance between your body, which again is space. But what you're trying to do is occupy that space for your own self-defense. What you're not trying to do is do something that's overtly complicated in terms of just getting, well, overtly fancy, that's the easiest way of describing it, which we'll talk about in another video. But more importantly, talking about getting your hand to something that effectively would be easier to defend, which makes no sense what I just said. But basically, on the short, just to, just to wrap it up, if someone's punching you, my train of thought is quite simple. Be aware of your spaces because that's your vulnerability. And your vulnerability is what you want to close up yeah. for your own self-defense. So if you're putting your hand in front of your face, which is what I was just trying to say, that is a good thing to do, but you're defending your body. Try to think proactively ahead of that. Where are the spaces? And then defend those spaces, and then as a fallback, you protect your body. So happy day in Wood Green. There's uh, police sirens as always. It's quite common here. Every five minutes you'll hear police sirens because we have a lot of stabbing, shootings, and unfortunately street crime here. So happy days in London. <laughs> Thanks for watching.